So as we step into the new year, it's natural to think, okay, the hustle and bustle, the holidays are over. Now what? Option one, going back to life as usual. Option two, starting over with the blank slate. It's a new year, embracing a new beginning. So just as a poll, um, how many of you want to do option one? Raise your hands. How many of you want to do option two? New beginning, raise your hands. Okay, probably all of us. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so take out your journal. Draw a vertical line down the center of the page. <laughs> Don't do this. Okay, so now you're going to make two lists. You're going to jot down the pros and cons of 2023. What was great about 2023? Love it. I'm going to take it into 2024. Let's call that abundance blessings. So you're going to write abundance blessings. And then what sucked about 2023? I'm just not, no, nope, that we're going to call that growth pain. So then you write growth pains. Okay, and then you're going to list. You're going to list all the stuff that was great in 2023 under abundance blessings and all the stuff that kind of sucked in 2023 under growth pains. You're going to make two lists and go ahead and do that now. So as you think about what you want to take with you from 2023 into 2024, and then the other stuff you want to leave behind like financial struggle, health issues, you know, you're looking at that growth pains list and you're like, no, 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 babe, you stay here in 2023. You are not coming with me to 2024. Bye. So you're going to take some stuff with you. You're going to compost the other stuff. Every single thing on your growth pain list, you're going to compost. So do you know what compost is? It's you take your leftover food scraps, you put it in a bin, you know, and they this kind of decomposes into your rich fertilizer that you use as soil for your garden. So all the stuff you don't want from 2023, you're going to compost it. You're going to turn it into fertilizer to grow stuff that you do want in 2024. So you're going to circle every item on your growth pain list preferably in a colored marker or a highlighter. So you go ahead and circle them. Okay, so as soon as you circle it, it's, it's compost now. So for example, in 2023, my growth challenge was smoking. And every time I needed to reach for inspiration, I smoke. But in 2024, when I need to reach for inspiration, I go to hot yoga class. So your recycling energy you use to put into your growth pains, the energy you used to put into your growth pains, you're now recycling that energy you're using the you're now you're using it to build a new beginning. So you're going to walk into 2024 leaving behind anything and everything that doesn't bring you joy, peace and happiness. So go ahead, you want to circle each one of your growth pains composted into something new for 2024 and you're probably going to have to turn the page and like start a new page draw a little arrow start a new page and how are you going to recycle all that energy you put into the pain of growing <laughs> how now that energy goes where where does that energy go in 2024 if you're not going to stress out and worry about not having money, well, all that worry, stress energy, what do you do? Oh, you're going to do something. You're going to do what with that energy? 